what is going on guys uh, early Sunday morning in the fish room water changes uh, maintenance and I want to go ahead and share a little something with you guys as you guys know I use mostly sponge filters in the fish room in my tanks and I wanted to come up with a way how to pull the organics out of the water without actually having to do a bigger water change because uh, when you go ahead and clean your tank you kick up a lot of gunk and I just feel as if a water change don't necessarily pull all that gunk out once you kick it up and I don't really want to go ahead and use hang on backs for this because most of my fish room is air driven so I came up with a little something here it's an air driven water polisher uh, stay tuned I'll show you guys how to build it alright guys so let's go ahead and get started with this build it is very very simple I'm just simply using these little mini containers that I used uh, for other DIYs in the past you just simply need one of these and all you're gonna do I'm trying to do this with less tools as possible all you simply got to do is go ahead with a knife and score it uh, right around here just to leave yourself maybe about a quarter inch left on the cover so like I said just take a sharp knife this is very very thin plastic I don't know if you guys can see that I right, just go ahead cut the middle out like I said it's very thin plastic you don't really want a heavy duty plastic to do this or you're gonna need uh, different tools obviously so as you guys can see I got a circle cut out here just scored I'm just gonna go over that a few more times now and this will actually just come right out I'll just jam this in the middle and break it out in pieces very very simple so I'm just gonna keep cutting on this you guys get the idea I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out I'll come right back to you all right guys so this is what I ended up with like I said I just went ahead and cut it a bunch of times with a knife you just need a sharp knife for this and eventually you just break yourself through maybe it took maybe about a minute or two minutes like I said I actually have tools that can just cut a perfect circle in this but I'm choosing not to use that just so you guys can actually get an idea that you don't really need tools to do this so that's it for that now what I do uh, you need this stuff here craft mesh you simply uh, go ahead place this here this is actually going to be your lid and you just simply trace out exactly the inside of this here so it's a very snug fit uh, I have it done already right here as you guys can see I just went ahead with the marker trace the circle out all right so it's marked now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out super quick again this is craft mesh extremely simple to work with there we go you guys can see this should fit pretty close in there nice and snug actually trim it a little bit more on this spot you want it snug but not tight tight that'll work so now all you need is an airline to uh, a large tubing for the air to come out and an airline tubing all you're going to do now uh, I you can do this without a drill I'm just choosing to use a drill just to drill a quarter inch hole just for the airline tubing to go in you can just do this with a knife but just for the for the time it's going to take to do it for the video I'm just going to go ahead and do this you see the airline can fit perfectly here I'm going to grab a larger piece of airline just so once I put it in I'm done now this is another simple part alright guys now what you want to do you want to attach it somehow and uh, friction fit can possibly work but I just put a little dab of crazy glue on the actual airline itself just so that I know that it's going to hold itself in 
so you don't need to go crazy just a little dab and that's basically it you just want it to sit in enough so the air lines inside we're gonna have to go ahead and give this a minute just to make sure it's dried while we're doing that though we do have to go ahead and cut a hole out of this here for the top so you, you can go ahead place it in do a quick little mark there we go place that on the side let that dry you go ahead and cut the hole out This should fit perfectly there now. Perfect. All right, that should be dried enough. Now what I did, I just simply took my knife. I just made a couple slits in this hose here. cut a couple little pieces out here I made three holes this is simply gonna help the water to get pushed up through that'll work that should be dry so now you simply need uh, on the one that's in the tank right now I actually added a bit of gravel in the bottom then put the floss in which is actually gonna weigh it down to the bottom so it doesn't go anywhere this one however I want to go ahead and make this a hang on glass polisher so what I'm gonna do uh, just simply drill a quarter inch hole in this here and which I just did this already off camera it's just a quarter inch hole so I'm gonna go ahead and add the floss in I'll show you guys exactly what I mean I'm gonna put your lid on first then this here pass your floss on top see that's why we made it nice and snug so it doesn't go anywhere pass this over the top and that's essentially it that is done now I have this little suction cup from the quarter inch hole now that is a hang on glass water polisher so let's go ahead and get this hooked up to a pump you don't need a big pump for this this is actually I think a 10 gallon pump or a whisper 10 something like that and it actually does an amazing job on this little uh, polisher so let's go ahead and get this plugged in I'll get that into the tank so you guys can see it in action all right guys so I have it installed in the tank as you guys can see it's just hooked up to a little whisper 10 so it's not a very big pump and look at the amount of water that it's pushing it's pretty intense for a little small pump I simply have it plugged towards the top right here just so you guys can actually see the water coming out of it like I said it's pretty intense so I'm gonna go ahead and push this down a bit so you can see all the air that's getting pushed out through there and like I said this actually does an amazing job I'm blown away by how good it actually works to pour organics out of the water. Uh, as you see, this is the one I did with gravel on the bottom. Uh, it depends what style you guys are looking for. That's the reason why I did two. I'm, this one is probably not going to stay in this tank. I'm just going to move this one around from tank to tank as I'm doing water changes or anytime I need to clean a tank good, the glass, it kicks a lot of gunk up. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this 
in the tank. It's going to take all that crap out for me within a few days. I just pull the floss out, toss it away. As you guys can see, the amount of gunk in this one here is pretty intense. This one, it's been running for, I would say, uh, it's going on four days, I guess. And look at the crap it actually pulled out of the water. I'm blown away by how efficient it actually is. Uh, probably has to go out and I got to change the floss in this one. But like I said, for this video, I didn't want to change the floss until you guys actually seen how good this actually works. Uh, I would not show you guys this little DIY if I did not stand by it. It is amazing. Now this is essentially a little mini box filter, kinda, but like I said, it's really small, so you can't really fit media in this. Uh, but for polishing your water, Just Floss it does an amazing, amazing job. You can essentially, if you want to take this idea, throw a bit of biomedia in there. And you can probably filter a 5 gallon, no problem. But I wouldn't go much bigger than that. Uh, if you want to add biomedia to your tank, go ahead by all means. But this is simply for me to polish my water. And as you guys can see, it does an amazing, amazing job. This is like three or four days worth of crap from these cichlids. Now these are juvenile cichlids. I do feed these guys a lot and they are very messy as you guys can see. But look how clear the water actually is in this tank. It's probably the clearest time yet since I put this on. Uh, there's no, no organics, no floating particulates and nothing in the water with just sponge filters. It's pretty awesome. I really hope you guys like this style of video. If so, let me know in the comments. I have a couple more projects I'm actually working on that I can go ahead and share with you guys. If you do like this style of video, like how-tos and DIYs, so go ahead and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.